Assalamualaikum and hello guys. Are you ready to join my class? Today, we will discuss about tutorial 1. That is number system. Okay, now I want to discuss about subtopic complex number. I can choose some of question about this subtopic. And then, now the rest, you have to do it yourself. Okay, now I want to choose question 2B. Rationalize the following and express them in the form A plus B I. From the question, okay, look at at denominator where denominator is complex number. Now we have to eliminate the complex number at denominator. How to do it? Okay, by multiply it by conjugate. Okay. So the conjugate is 4 plus 3i is 4 minus 3i. Okay, now you have to multiply both up and bottom with 4 minus 3i. Okay, and then expand for the both numerator and denominator. Okay, 4i times 4 minus 3i over 4 plus 3i times 4 minus 3i okay for the up is 16i minus 12i square over 16 Minus 12i plus 12i over minus 9i square. Okay, now we have i square. Okay, i square is equal to negative 1. How we get i square equal to negative 1? Okay, since i equal to set negative 1 then when we multiply okay square root negative 1 square then we have i square equal to negative 1 and then substitute into the i square so 16i minus 12 okay times negative 1 over 16 okay negative 12 i plus 12 i equal to 0 and then minus 9 times negative 1 and then we have 16 i plus 12 over 25 Okay, write the answer in form of A plus B I. Okay, so our final answer is 12 over 25 plus 16 over 25 I. That is. Okay, next. Look at question 3B. Okay, find the values of x and y of the following equation. Okay, now we have x plus yi equal to 3 plus i times 2 minus 3i. Okay, we want to find value of x and value of y okay first of all we have to multi mi multiply at the right side so we have 6 minus 9i plus 2i minus 3i square okay it's same for the previous question which Okay, we have I square. Okay, then simplify the equation. So, 6 minus 
9i plus 2i. So, we get negative 7i minus 3. And then substitute i square with negative 1. Okay, and then from this one, the equation is... Okay, 6 plus 3 equal to 9 minus 7 i. Okay, what is our next step? Okay, we have to compare the real part with real part. And imaginary part with imaginary part. So, our real part is x equal to 9 and then our imaginary part is y equal to negative 7. So, that's the answer.